Hi, I'm Jack Reynolds. I'm a senior undergraduate researcher with Purdue Physics and Astronomy, and I study time domain astrophysics under Professor Mila Salzovich. So um, time domain astrophysics is a really great field of astrophysics because it's, it's anchored in time. So we study things that change in the night sky. You know, the arms of the Milky Way for the most part stay the same, and galaxies tend not to move very much, but things like supernova, tidal disruptions, stars falling into the supermassive black holes of the center of galaxies are what we call transients. And those are, those are under time domain astrophysics. So I, I came to Purdue uh, for undergraduate research. I was offered a scholarship called the Ascarelli Award, which gave me paid undergraduate research my second semester if I could find a professor to take me in. And that was single-handedly what got me to come to Purdue. But I would say the one thing Purdue offers better than anything else, scholarship or otherwise, is undergraduate researcher. There are so many professors here that do such fascinating work. And many of them are not only willing to work with undergraduates, but are well prepared to teach you to be just as proficient as a graduate student in your four years at the university. I've, I've been following astronomy for years now. I was that six-year-old kid out in the front yard at three in the morning on a brisk winter morning, um, looking, looking for shooting stars, watching for a meteor shower. And I, I suppose when you're young, you think of meteor showers as, oh, there's going to be a shooting star. You're going to see like 20 of them. Then they really, they really come like every five, ten minutes, if you can catch them. Um, but I would say my, my most amazing experience was when I was with Boy Scouts out in the middle of the New Mexican desert, and you could see the arms of the Milky Way in color just because you were so far away from the nearest light source. It's a phenomenal experience. And now, James Webb Space Telescope, um, it's going to touch all parts of astronomy. That's the fascinating thing about the field is that it's all connected. So transient supernova astronomy, what I do, the study of exploding stars, high energy astrophysics. But the fact that we understand those models then and we can track supernova deeper and deeper into the universe tells us more about the Hubble constant, which tells us about cosmology, the expansion of the universe, and how, how the universe was born in those first fractions of a second after the Big Bang. So astronomy is all connected, and JWST really expands the astronomy domain. So one of the big problems in observational astronomy is dealing with the atmosphere. You know, the stars wiggle, they twinkle, as you will, if you look up at them. And with a telescope, that only becomes more problematic, especially when you start reaching into the infrared wavelengths. Those wavelengths interfere with the atmosphere more than visible light does. So if we were to try to measure a star with our eyes, we'd see a point, but if we try to measure it with an infrared telescope, we would see a very fuzzy point. Uh, James Webb Space Telescope is a space telescope focused on the infrared, so it will revolutionize our understanding of the infrared wavelengths of transient events, deep galaxies far, far, far away from us, and the cosmic microwave background that helped us derive the fundamental constants behind the birth of the universe. Not everyone understands the importance and value of academia, and I think part of that is academia often fails to explain its importance to people. So one of the advantages to studying astronomy over any other field of physics is that one of the great justifications you can use to why our work is valuable is just how beautiful it is. We take pictures of some of the grandest objects in the universe and we have a chance to share them with everyone. So that's why I believe that just as much as being a researcher, but outreach and information and sharing is an invaluable part of the Purdue experience. One of the really valuable programs here at Purdue is Saturday Morning Astrophysics. It's really wonderful to work with kids as they're starting to develop an idea of what they want to do with the rest of their life. I know when I started down the path of physics, I didn't quite know what in physics I wanted to do. And in hindsight, I don't even think I really knew what physics and physics research was. So to find people who were like me at one point are excited about physics, excited about the field, it, it's, a, it's an invaluable mentorship experience, not only for them, but also for you to learn about yourself and how you actually look at your career and what you want to do going forward in the future.